Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter. Today is all about the Hunting Horn build progression. Now, I absolutely suck at Hunting Horn and don't judge me. So, what I actually have here is a weird sort of collection of builds that they do work and I am hoping that I am showing them in a decent light. And at the very end, I do have a separate build that is not classed in the quote meta, end quote. But it does allow for more of a supportive play, particularly because you don't do the most damage as a hunting horn. It's quite fun, it's quite entertaining, but it's not like the absolute king of anything. It's okay in terms of damage, so what I have done is sacrifice a bit of damage in the effect of helping others. Anyway, I'm going to start off with the first build you should possibly go for, and that is this lovely piece here. We're using the Detora, Detora horn, which is from Pookie Pookie. And the reason we're going for this, although it won't be of this level, it gives you health recovery and earplugs which will help you basically stay alive as well as not get stunned as much particularly in the early game we're also going for quite a heavy hit as well with critical eye level seven there's exploit level three attack boost two and we're also getting in some punishing draw which is going to help for a little bit of hit and run play which i find to be the best way to sort of go around with your hunting horn Obviously, Master's Charm level 3, you're not going to get immediately, but the Rathalos helmet, chest and boots, and the Odegaran gloves and waist are going to be well within your grasp. From here, keeping in with the same horns, you can have the Nurgle Gunte helmet, the Rathalos male beta, the Kaiser Van Braces beta, Nurgle Gunte coil beta, and Nurgle Gunte greaves beta, adding in that one attack decoration you should have by this point. That does give us quite a hefty build of 95% affinity. We're also going to be getting haste and recovery, which is going to help with your staying alive. Attack boost level 4, maximum might level 3, makes exploit level 3, and critical eye level 3, if at this point you are able to get your master's charm. From here, it is a bit of a decoration farm, as well as a hunting horn switch. And this is a hunting horn that I feel is probably one of his only really decent-ish weapons that is available. So we're going to be using Nogagante's hunting horn, Desolation's Overture, simply because it gives affinity up. Health recovery is small and earplugs large. This is more of a supporting horn, but I think you'll find at this sort of level, being more of a support horn is going to be a lot more useful. Nogagante Helm Alpha with an attack decoration, Rathalos Mal Beta with an expert. We're also utilizing a Sonorous Jewel in the weapon, Kaiser Van Rose's Beta, Nogagante Coil Beta, Nogagante Grease Beta, along with that Master's Charm yet again. This is going to give you a little bit more attack and potentially a bit more of a supporty role and potentially help yourself out with those earplugs large, affinity up and of course the health recovery. Now despite having 100% affinity, with the affinity up song playing it just basically means you're going to get more of a crit chance on those non-weak points. Now with a bit more of a decoration farm you can potentially go for something like this, Desolatant Overture with a Sonorous Jewel, Kaiser Crown Beta with an Expert, Kaiser Male Beta with an another Expert and an Attack, Kaiser Van Braces Beta with another Expert, Nogagante Coil Beta with a Expert, and then Dante's Leather Boots Alpha, and I've left those two decoration slots empty for you to do whatever you feel like with, and then Master's Charm 3. This is the part where you need to compensate for that lack of affinity with your affinity up large because that will put you at 100% which will then increase your overall EFR, increasing your overall damage. This build works quite well despite the fact that you do have a lot of sharpness with the Nogagante Horn, having that utilisation of Master's Touch is going to be very very handy. Although if you do have another horn in mind or perhaps a different armour piece it does generally help out utilizing master's touch now this is annoyingly where it 
jumps. You're going to be going straight for Draken. The Ear Pugs and the Affinity in the previous build will definitely help you and your team out. And from here, we're going to basically enter the subsection of the meta. So we're using Deep Vero with an Affinity Augment. The second Augment is up to you. You can put another Affinity in to get the 100%. You can go for health for a bit of health return. Damage for more. You get the picture. Nogagante Hellmouth with an Expert. Draken Mal with a Mighty. Draken Van Braces with two Tenderizer. Draken Coil with a Critical. Draken Grease with a Tenderizer. And we're also utilizing a Handicraft Charm to get 30 points of white. Just because if you don't go for that second affinity, you're going to lose quite a bit of sharpness quite quickly. So we're going to use the Handicraft to compensate or offset that lack of affinity. I do recommend going for a health though, rather than affinity, but if you are some sort of pro, I am not. By all means, go for affinity. And you could probably put an attack charm on to get a little bit more damage out. Now these next two builds are in kin with the meta at this point, but it's utilizing different horns. This is the Tower of Pipe Sleep. This is my preferred hunting horn, the one you can see in the background footage simply because it has a lot more white sharpness and doesn't really require more a sort of skilled play. I only really use hunting horns to help out lower level players when they don't want a complete carry. So this is what I'm utilizing with thus. Feel free to swap out the handicraft charm for an attack charm if you wish for more EFR. I just find using or having those 60 points of white to be quite comfortable. Up next we have the Emperor Raw Blaze. This is a pretty common favourite amongst the uh, meta runners. And again, different bit of, bit of a different setup, but as for the current meta, using Arch Tempered Nurga Guntaj with his Papega Slam doesn't really hold much of a candle. Now this build is a little bit offset simply because we're only running with this expert level 2 but as you can see it has a lot more affinity than most of the others so we're still able to hit that 100% affinity quite easily. Now if I may I'm going to add in a quick build of what I like to use when I'm helping out other people maybe it helps some of you guys out and then I'm going to move straight on to the current letter for the two general purpose hunting horns. So first things first, I'm using the Tariff Pipe Sleep with Elementless Jewel 2, Nogagante Helm Alpha with Attack Jewel 1, Draken Mal Alpha with a Tenderizer, Draken Van Braces Alpha with two more Tenderizers, Draken Coil Alpha with a Friendship Ch Jewel, and Draken Greaves Alpha with another Friendship Jewel. I'm also using the Friendship Charm 3. This enables me to have 100% affinity, a decent amount of EFR at 425, Master's Touch, Critical Eye Level 6, Attack Boost 5, Wide Range 5, Beach 6.3, Maximum Might 3, so on and so forth. So, on with the actual metoir. So what we are going to be using here is again Terror of Pipe Sleep with a Health Augment Elementless Jewel 2, Draken Alpha Helmet with a Tenderizer and Attack, Draken Mal Alpha with a Tenderizer, Draken Van Braces Alpha with a Tenderizer and a Flawless, Nogagante Coil Gamma with a Flawless and a Sonorous Jewel, Draken Greaves Alpha with a Flawless and then a Mighty Charm 2. Obviously 100% Affinity, 480 Effective Raw, Master's Touch, Critical Eye Level 4, Attack Boost Level 4, Critical Boost Level 3, Maximum Might Level 3, Expert Level 3, Peak Performance Level 3, and a slight touch of Agitator with Null Elemental Boost. If you aren't really too bothered about having Horn Maestro, you can feel free to swap out Horn, the Sonorous Jewel, sorry, for another attack, but it's not really a requirement, and it just means you can have more uptime on your attack up extra large. And then on to what is effectively the most usable and generally the best general purpose hunting home build. And that is for Deep Vero. Simply because it just hits that damn hard. So obviously Deep Vero, we're using two affinity augments just to try and maximise our output with 
100% affinity. You can remove one of them and put a health augment on if you really, really must. Draken Alpha Helmet with a Mighty and an Attack. Draken Mal Alpha with a Tenderizer. Draken Van Braces Alpha with two Tenderizers. Nogagante Coil with a Handicraft to get yourself into the White Sharpness. An Attack Decoration. Draken Greaves Alpha with a Mighty and then Fission Oil we have the Master's Charm 3. This gives us Master's Touch, Critical Eye, Level 7, Attack Boost Level 5, Critical Boost Level 3, Maximum Might Level 3, and it's Exploit Level 3. Adding it all in, we have the good old bit of Agitator, because you know, this build needs more damage. Anyway, that is it for the Hunting Horns. I've quite enjoyed making this video. It's been a bit of an experiment, quite a bit of entertainment. Never actually done solo Hunting Horn before, but yeah, that is it. On a quick side note, I do have a hammer progression video in the works, but considering there is literally a cult of hammer bros, I thought it best to go to the best hammer player I could find to get some accurate, definitive information before I get torn asunder. So I'm just waiting on Mr. Cups to get back to me, and hopefully, if you don't trust me, you'll trust the information Mr. Cups provides. So I do hope that will be something of a benefit to the hammer bros out there. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe. It is free. If not, like, maybe give me a comment. Constructive criticism is always grateful. But in the meantime, good luck, have fun, and don't die. It's bad for the health.